Everybody, welcome back to another mystify video today in this video it is going to be my packing with me video so I have officially finished my first year of college it went pretty well so now it is time to pack up all my stuff and get ready to go home I am keeping a bunch of stuff here because I don't want to keep bringing things back and forth and also I can't fly everything that I have home so I do have two very large suitcases that I will be flying home along with a little carry-on those will be packed last so those will be towards the end of the video um, but in a big portion of this video you're gonna meet, see me packing boxes that are going to be going into a storage locker. Also towards the end of this video, if I do get the footage of it, you'll see me moving into the storage locker, um, parking my car in a friend's garage for over the summer, and then getting on the plane and going home. So enjoy me packing and yeah, let's get to it. So the first box that I'm going to be packing on camera is the kitchen box. So I have written on the side here, kitchen stuff. So it's like all of my cooking utensils and then everything like that. So let's get to packing. So I'm starting a new box. So this is gonna be my bathroom box. So it's like towels, candles, stuff like that. So enjoy a little box ASMR because I have to build a box. So I have to use some tape. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I'm working on my candles. Um, I used to work at Bath & Body Works, so I have quite the collection of candles that I've acquired over the past year. So I have a bag that I got during their annual candle day sale. It's the perfect size to fit the six, like the six carrier of candles. Unfortunately, I only have one of those though. So then I'm going to wrap the rest in bubble wrap and see how it all comes together. So let's get packing.
Okay, so it's like day 500 of me packing, but I have barely made a dent, so you'll still see lots in this video. Um, we're gonna keep working on the kitchen box. I'm going to be bubble wrapping all of my mugs and my blender. I'm just packaging some stuff up to go in the kitchen box, so let's get to it. I can't fall asleep I just lay in my bed wondering if there's anybody Or if I was born to be lonely I've been trying But I'm burned out from my feelings And if I was just hoping that you'll notice me Oh, I'm sending out an SOS from the sinking in my soul I just need you to know I'm sending smoke signals Cause I've been feeling so alone I'm losing hope Can anybody see me? I've been on my own For so long that I'm scared That I might never find someone to take me home So I'm sending smoke Ship is set sail and I'm stranded Now I'm lost in the thought that something is wrong And it's not my fault and no one seems to care You know me, I can't, you know you abandoned I'm sending smoke signals Cause I've been feeling so alone I'm losing hope Can anybody see me? I've been on Um, but we're up. This is how much I had left. So I went and bought this much more. It looks like a giant roll of toilet paper, but it is indeed bubble wrap. So we are continuing to work on mugs because I have a lot of them. I will see if I can get the lighting to be better because this is like extremely bright. Like my hands look like they're glowing, but yeah. So let's get back to mugs, glassware, vases, all that sort of stuff. When's it gonna be my turn? Will I ever find my place? Wishing you would call me yours, but I'm just another castaway. When's it gonna be my time? Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna be working on is shoes and bags. So behind me, you can see my closet. I'm sitting on the floor. I have a blanket, I'm all snuggled up. But I am going to be working on packing all of my shoes. I also have like this thing over here, um, but I'm gonna be putting it all into this bag. Um, obviously not all of them because some of them I'm still wearing, but at least the ones that can be immediately packed. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be working on now. Some days I can't get out of my bed Some days I'm waking up on the wrong side of my head And I got all these eyes on me Staring at me through my screen Most nights I just can't wait to lie down So tired from my thoughts that keep on swirling around
Okay, so this is the continuation of me packing. So the next thing I'm going to be working on is earrings. So just to give you an idea of what I'm working with, I have these two earring holders. They spin a hundred, or they spin all the way around, whatever. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, I originally was just going to be putting them... Hello. Sorry. I'm just going to hold it. I was originally going to be putting them in... Um, just like a bag, like a plastic bag to bring home over the summer. But my boyfriend found this really cool find on Amazon for pretty cheap. And basically it's just like this bag with sleeves in it. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through and put all the earrings that I wanna take home over the summer in here. And it's just a good way to keep them organized and well-preserved and just well taken care of instead of just all jumbled up together in a plastic bag. So let's pack my earrings. Okay, so I've made a lot of progress in the last chunk of time from when I was last recording. I finished off two boxes. I cleared everything out of my kitchen. So the kitchen is done. I'm currently just working on packing up my leftover food, which I'm saving until next semester because it's a lot of canned food or things that just don't expire like noodles and Capri Suns and stuff like that. So the current box that I am just starting, I just put the box together. It is empty, is my decorations box. So, you know, everything that's hanging on my walls other than my posters and just decoration stuff. Um, so yeah, that is the current box I'm working on. So um, let's get working on that. Thank you. 
so it's the next day um and this is my bed as you can see there is nothing on it anymore same with the rest of my room so i am completely moved out all my stuff is in my car or in the storage locker there's nothing in the drawers everything is completely empty here's my closet so you kind of got to see a before and after it's really surreal honestly to be in an empty room because it's like this is what i started out with and to like think about what i made it look like throughout the school year is really really cool to me but yeah it's people are sh shut up that's the fucking cleaners sorry beep out my swing um but yeah so it's so crazy but i'm so glad to be moving out i'm so glad to be moving on to the next chapter which will be sophomore year in the fall and i'm also so excited to be home for the summer i'm really um glad to take a nice long break and have an actual bed again this bed was actually not bad like everyone says you need the mattress topper i know a lot of people that got them and like i slept just fine without it i mean it's actually my bed wasn't bad i don't know if this is a newer one or what but I like mine, but yeah, I'm excited to actually have like a big full bed again, a real closet, cause that thing, that thing was tiny. Um, I also just have way too many clothes, but yeah, that was the, probably the most important part, but yeah, it's crazy. Everything is gone, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this packing video. I know at the end you didn't get to see very much. Um, I packed all my suitcases off camera just because it was very chaotic and I was just trying to rush at the end there just because I had really been taking my time with it, um, making sure everything was organized and I still made everything organized, but I just was kind of in a rush there at the end. So it was best that I just did it off camera, but I still got quite a bit for you guys. Um, and yeah, this is what it looks like all done. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this packing video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.